What's up, people? Are ready? Welcome back to the Wiggs Gang, where we bring you to my and the Yabu Gang, and which is the main big part of the coolest gang ever. Gang, gang, gang. By subscribing and then hit the notification bell so that you do not miss when we post and upload. And I'm going to try my level best to break down this story, like, so that you guys can, you know, make it more palatable so that you guys can understand and I can understand and we can all be together in what has been trending on the streets of Twitter. And right now, like, it has, it has become a trend and it has picked on the blog. So yesterday, this babe by the name of Mandy Saro, I think she's a YouTuber, yes, she has a YouTube page here. And I, I don't know, she does, like, cooking content and at some point she used to host a show at Capitol FM. And then there was this guy by the name of Comic Tobu who is now a photographer and he says that I once worked at Capitol FM and the unfortunate bit is so Miss Mandy okay fine let me let me pull up Miss Mandy puts out this tweet and she's talking so this is the tweet so Miss Mandy puts out this tweet <laughs> out that tweet Kobe Gitobu now that I think he is free and he still had like some traumas from that toxic work environment that was mainly hosted by a one Mandy Saro comes and he says oh my god I'm so surprised that you would have the guts when where are you getting the guts and the sprite to come and write such nonsense when you yourself were never accountable you never apologized you never took responsibility for how you treated me all those years way back when we were still working together at Capital Effect. So then Kome goes right ahead and he gives this whole juicy, saucy, ketchupy thread and this is how it went. So read the thread and then come back and let's discuss. So guys, when that caught wind, I'm telling you Twitter, it was funny because the memes were just, the, the memes kept coming and coming and coming and then guys were roasting Miss Mandy, they were saying she's a horrible human being and I think at the same time they also mentioned Amina Abdi, in that, I don't know what Amina Abdi has done, I tried looking for it but like maybe story for another day. So they roasted her and they were like, you see, it is people like you who make others feel like shit and then someone else comes into the comment section and they're like, hey Miss Mandy, do you remember me? I was that intern that you tried to bully and then Nika Pata, you were being demon in one of those locker rooms and then you tried bribing us. Oh no! <laughs> and then you tried bribing us and you gave each of us 5k, 5k for our silence. I was like, wait, what? Then, now guys, guys were going in and they were going hard and they were like, who the hell does that baby think she is? And then videos, like all videos of her, I think soliciting, I don't know, for gifts from, uh, from who are these people? From musicians and artists, resurfaced the guys were like, ah, see this babe she's even fake like she 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 could not just host you rosafi you know she had to ask so this clip again resurfaced and it was played on the streets of twitter so watch that clip and then again let's come back and digress bringing a manzana miss mandy and all that i didn't like that at all as i said i'm disappointed man the first thing by the way album that's an example i'm trying to give like Munangusha Kenyan music your design. You want me to bring you ice cream to your studio or something? You want me to bring you a, a t-shirt? No, Mekujana Mazuri, or you've just come empty-handed. Oh, you know, first of all, I want to say this. Yeah. If none of you brought any gifts, 
Y'all are wack. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. Half of the guests who keep coming here bring like booties. T-shirts, which y'all bring? CDs, albums for you. This is for you. Uh, no, music, I want music. something for myself, not yeah. a CD. Like Yo, this is my shit. album. Come on, this is the best I could give you. That's right the now. best I you could give me. Yeah. The oh, best I could give you right now. That's a meal voucher and, 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 and a pack maybe. Uh, I don't want a pack. So, no, gonna... album. No, no, no. Uh, no. Oh, you should buy the brands. Una jua. You know, talk to to me at Wole. Tell me buy. Or you even ask to buy it. Una jua. I'm giving you an album for free. Music, food for thought, 19 tracks, man. You had a own idea on getting in your condition. You missed that. You understand? Now, okay, let me tell you something. Unfortunately, now today in the morning we're waking up and then we we're waking up to the sad demise of a one DJ Lithium who used to work for Capital FM eight years straight, and it has been uh, reported or it's been alleged that he committed suicide by taking rat poison. But the family, on the other hand, is reporting that he just collapsed in the offices. So, and then they say like this, let's just give the family no time to brief this whole thing. But it's already out there that I, I think they like. I, I think there's some shame that comes with suicide and depression, and, and a lot of people in the African setup don't really want to talk about it. Like it's always a very I don't know, jittery subject matter. So all he said is that he left a suicide note and he made sure that he deleted all of his social media accounts because I think he had got to that point and he knew that today is the day I'm about to end it all. So lo and behold, as fate would have it, Miss Mandy Trends, and then again, an employee of Capital FM ends his life or collapsed or whatever. And then, guys, again, they pin that back to Miss Mandy and they're like, aha, uh -huh, probably, probably this gent had the same type of issues that a one comedy talk had, and this gent did not have the courage or the guts to call out some of those toxic. You know, people whom he had interacted with, and guys were like, Miss Mandy, is it you, baby? Honey, do you have anything to do with this? And I like, I'm just like, Yo, woo, 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 and then comes up with the one Miss Mandy at some point, and then even Akina Edi Butita pulled out all the receipts, and they're like, See, we tried pitching this babe, and I think they wanted to work for Capital FM, and then Miss Mandy gave them this whole ass. To read and she was like listen to me boo you do not deserve to be here maybe because you do not talk about this you know because you know we want to talk about another like this and you don't put a description blah 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 so Eddie Butita like in I think it was a wango they pull out that receipt and they're like see listen this is what happened they said oh you know the guy wrote and then <laughs> Eddie just wrote like okay thank you for your response but the read was one lengthy ass paragraph telling him you a shit puppet <laughs> your jokes will all float here this is the capital of him do you did you not get the memo did they not tell you how things here operate and then i'll get like years later luca okay so anyway i don't know what you're actually feeling about this whole story is but then again i caught this in some other quarters when people were saying like there's that ka clique and that ka squad that they used to hang out together as bestos or oh, like there used to be like a clique of of, I don't know, influencers, of our YouTubers, of our mean girls association, where you would, you would find them in events and then you try to go say hi to them, very happy and cheerful, and then they would give you that eye like, bish. So, I do not know what you're actually feeling to have, what this whole issue is, but I sort of feel like it's rather yeah, that, you know, that the gents had to lose his life and then unfortunately Mandy was trending and then it has become a conversation about toxic environments and toxic bosses and some of the toxic toxic people that people have to deal with in everyday life situations which is just not I don't know I don't know if it's fair if we're being fair to her like trying to collaborate this too and say that you know because when you are toxic then probably this is why this and this happened so we are yet to see or we are yet to hear Mandy Sarah's side of the story it's either she's just going to bullshit this or she's going to put you know those things that people usually put or maybe she's already put it up there on Instagram like just like some very shitty type of apology or she's just going to go on with life but it is saying that she has like the darkest tarot hat like even the demon like 
aside like aside she's like the one who you can call her boss because she's about to take you to school in terms of being a cold blooded human being so subscribe if you've not hit notification and be sure to like share comment and leave your comment down below and of course i will see you again in the next group thanks for watching